A ruthless Gotham mob boss, Black Mask Origin Explored. The world of the DC Comics is one that tells a lot of different stories, but there is one element which is pretty much common in all of them. The element of darkness, which gives the DC characters the essence of their origin and builds a personality that no fan can ever get enough of. Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new origin video with Marvelous Videos. If you're a DC fan, you already know that this video is going to be super exciting. A supervillain from the DC universe with a backstory which is surprisingly too dark to handle. Well, how could a supervillain ever become a great supervillain without a boring history, right? There has to be sadness and pain and suffering to lead them to the path of becoming who they have chosen to be. In today's video, we have the story of a ruthless Gotham mob boss, Black Mask. His latest appearance in the 2020 film Harley Quinn Birds of Prey left quite an amazing mark on his profile. But unlike the good looks of Ewan McGregor, Batman's enemy Black Mask is not all that handsome. Well, he technically does not even need to be when he could just wear his iconic skull mask and be the mastermind of a criminal enterprise. On one side, we have our superhero Batman with a tragic past and then comes Black Mask who has a past that is even darker than the loss and tragedy endured by Batman. Crazier than the Joker and deadlier than Ra's al Ghul, we have a DC villain who was first introduced in the DC Comics in 1985 in Batman issue number 386. Created by Doug Monch and Tom Mandrake, there are in fact parallels to Batman and Black Mask stories. Well, without making you wait any longer, let us get into the video and see exactly how Black Mask is such a dark character. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. And fire for letting children slow you down. Roman Sionis, aka Black Mask Origin. The story of how he turned into the Black Mask is a bizarre one. When a child is born, the first impression they have is said to last forever in their subconscious. Now, for most kids, the first thing they usually see is the face of a surgeon while being passed over to the mother. Sadly, for our soon-to-be supervillain, the first thing he saw was a guy in a green surgical mask dropping him headfirst to the ground. Yeah, the doctor literally dropped him as a baby. Born as Roman Sionis, he belonged to a wealthy family who were pretty great friends with the Wayne family. So we know that Bruce Wayne is sure to enter his life since both of them are about the same age. Since childhood, Roman was exposed to the various invisible masks that the adults wear on a daily basis. His parents were accustomed to wearing masks all the time while entertaining in their social circle. They expected Roman to like basic kid things like watching cartoon films, going to vacation home. And that is how Roman understood how to put on a fake expression himself. As the years went by, his father's empire kept growing larger and larger. Roman was soon able to work his way up to being the vice president of Janus Cosmetics. That is when he got bewitched by the beauty of a model named Cersei. A hint of darkness started being visible in him when his parents disapproved of Roman being with the model. Well, he then put on another mask to show his parents that he had accepted their decision of firing the woman. Roman executed what he wanted in the deadliest way possible. As it turns out, soon after the conversation, there was a fire at his home when he was with Cersei. A fire that grew from suspicious origins in which both his mother and father had died. It was the perfect alibi possible for Roman to be with Cersei when this unfortunate incident occurred. Maybe not as unfortunate as you might think. It worked just like what Roman wanted it to be, and then came the news of Roman's appointment to the post of president of Janus Cosmetics. Then he covered an entire room with handmade masks made by primitives. Like the ones we wear on Halloween, he had all kinds of masks. He then introduced the brand new idea for his company with the introduction of a new line of products, tangible, invisible like masks, and not just the cosmetics for the face. The new Janus face paint cosmetics came into existence, which proved to be a disaster for Janus Cosmetics. A desperate Roman was now ready to offer as much bonus as was needed by any person who would come up with something revolutionary for the brand. Waterproof makeup products were introduced, but not having them chemically tested cost Roman Sionis everything he ever had in his company. And then, after having a ton of lawsuits against them, the Wayne Foundation had come to his rescue. Sionis hated his name more than anything, but more than that, he hated his father because that is where the name came from. Mad with anger, he went to the Sionis crypt, and before he could open it, he was hit by a lightning bolt opening the door. He swayed fell head first on a stone. He took it as his rebirth and smashed his father's casket and left with a broken piece of it. 
to the world, Roman Sionis then disappeared with a lot of cash, a gun, all of his masks from his old apartment, and the defective chemical used in the waterproof makeup. As it turns out, Sionis had turned his parents' grave into his own den. The mother's casket had two masks, waiting to be worn by the first one of an army which will be formed by Black Mask. The army of Black Mask, which destroys one identity and creates another when you wear the mask. Sionis had now completely given his face away to the mask. Plans to turn all of Gotham into the army of Black Masks, building the False Face Society of Gotham. After growing his army, Black Mask went after the life of the new chairman of the board of Janus Cosmetics, death by wearing a mask. That is how fashionable a death Black Mask was created. Batman had become aware of Black Mask's existence, and after this murder, he knew for a fact that Black Mask was Roman Sionis because he had killed the chairman by using the mixture of banned Janus Cosmetics. The motive at this point was obvious that he was after the lives of the executives appointed by the Wayne Foundation. Batman, of course, always has excellent plans, right? So he came up with a masquerade event where everyone was supposed to be in masks at the Wayne Manor. The night begins with Bruce and Alfred trying to figure out which masquerader could be Roman Sionis. We see Cersei's actual face when someone forcefully removes her mask. It is all muscles as if the skin was peeled off, perhaps the result of the waterproof makeup, an unfortunate event. Alfred has suspicions on six people, but they don't know that Black Mask is not wearing his original mask that fine night. Roman misleads Wayne, but not for long, and then the real encounter happens between the two, with Roman threatening to kill Bruce. Unfortunately, Bruce cannot go after Roman as Bruce so he lets Robin take the lead while he prepares to wear his mask of Batman. They find out that Roman is living in his family's crypt. Well, looks like Black Mask's army was waiting just for Batman and Robin to arrive. The members of the False Face Society of Gotham rise, and as Batman goes after Black Mask, he makes a run for it. Chasing him on the Batmobile, Batman and Robin have no idea where he is headed. He heads to the Sionis family estate that Roman had abandoned ever since. He became the Black Mask. It looks like his grudge against Bruce Wayne is set deep inside his mind because he has always succeeded as Black Mask, but he lost to Bruce as Roman Sionis. Black Mask has come to this place to kill the little Roman Sionis forever by burning all his things. Batman and Robin have defeated Black Mask's army of the False Face Society of Gotham, and when Black Mask sees this, he plunges into the fire face down, his mask blacker than ever when Batman pulls him out of the fire. A distorted appearance, it looks like Black Mask has successfully masked himself and killed Roman Sionis forever, driving himself even more closer to madness and the hunger for power. What makes Black Mask so dangerous? Now that we have uncovered what events led to Roman Sionis to abandon the life in which he was born and chose to become the most dangerous gangster in Gotham City as Black Mask, let us figure out how dangerous he really is. As Roman Sionis, he clearly failed to become the businessman that his father once was. But as it turns out, as Black Mask, he sure succeeded in organizing, managing, and leading by far the biggest criminal empire in Gotham City. We can sure call him the greatest criminal mastermind for being such an expert in crime that even Batman Batman would find it difficult to bring him down. He is very well known all over Gotham for being cruel and ruthless when it comes to torture, which he considers to be an art form. He takes great pleasure in torturing his enemies with whatever way necessary to extract information from them, for the very act of torturing gives him pleasure. A sadistic man indeed. He is skilled in physical as well as mental torture, so if you are his enemy, it is best to stay clear from him because the damage he will do will mentally stay with you forever. With abilities like this, it will not come as a surprise if he had excellent physical strength. The very proof of his fighting skills and the combat level he could go to is that his strength is literally as equal as our hero's Nightwing, the Red Hood, Robin, Catwoman, and even Batman. Probably because of such high level of power, for a time, Black Mask actually pretended to be the Dark Knight himself. And on top of that, his acting abilities were so impressive that he was able to convince loads of people that he was, in fact, Batman. So many people became his victims and were killed as a result of his vengeance for Batman and Joker was actually able to take him down, knowing right away that Roman was not the real Batman. Thank heavens, Batman's reputation did not get affected. After all, the world knows Batman would never kill anybody. But this stunt clearly shows just how cunning and terrifying Black Mask can be. But that is not where the tricks from his mind end. Black Mask gradually started to think that doing business in Gotham was getting quite tough. But of course, being the mob boss that he is, instead of giving up his life of crime, he decided to relocate his criminal empire to Bloodhaven for some time. His plans, however, were stopped faster than he had hoped. 
by our hero, the Nightwing. The defeat of Black Mask was just so embarrassing that he settled back into Gotham and continued his crimes as if nothing had actually happened. Looks like it does not matter how clever Black Mask might be at times, if you mess with the likes of Batman and his family, it will never be good for you. I've scratched your backs and kept you out of jail. Well, now it's time to say thank you. Threatening versions of Black Mask in various forms of media. On television, Black Mask appeared in the Batman animated series that aired in 2004. This version of him, as a strong and powerful crime lord with a massive organization of minions, he has a skull-like face, which is exactly similar to his counterpart in No Man's Land. He also has no fingerprints or any identifying traits for that matter, which makes him difficult to identify. In Batman The Brave and the Bold, Black Mask appears alongside the false facers and is voiced by John DiMaggio. His physical appearance is a hybrid of his original and the modern version. This version of him wears a mask that moves the lips but not the teeth. He is much more muscular and physically intimidating than his canon counterpart, who are generally ordinary and slimmer. Here, in an effort to destroy half of Gotham, Black Mask reprograms Batman's bat robots to steal deadly explosives, only to be stopped by the Dark Knight, as predicted. Todd Stashwick plays Richard Sionis in the Fox TV drama Gotham, which predates his appearance in the comic books. Sionis is the CEO of a huge finance organization in the first season, which also houses a hidden and violent organized combat ring. Sionis pits his employees against one another in fights leading to their deaths in order to attain a more lucrative executive position within the firm, all while being broadcasted to the city's elite. When Detective James Gordon starts investigating the fight ring, Sionis, wearing a black mask, makes an attempt to murder Gordon, but of course, he is knocked unconscious and imprisoned. Black Mask is also portrayed by Peter Outerbridge in the second season of the CW's Batwoman. This version of him, rather than having a skull-like face, wears a skull mask and is shown to have a link with Sophia Sohail. He is the CEO of Janus Cosmetics as well as the head of the False Face Society. He blames the Crows and the previous Batwoman for the murder of his daughter Cersei Sionis on the same day when Alice led a mass breakout at Arkham Asylum where Cersei was imprisoned. Now coming to the films, elements of Black Mask's origin, such as his cosmetic industry background and how he accidentally ended up producing a lethal face cream, were included in the 2004 film adaption of Catwoman for the role of Sharon Stone. Wade Williams voices Black Mask in the animated feature film Batman Under the Red Hood in 2010. This version portrays the first criminal lord who took full control of Gotham City. As a violent turf war develops when the mysterious Red Hood tries to depose Black Mask, the crime lord is finally forced to take the help of the Joker and free him out of Arkham Asylum in order to recruit him to murder the Red Hood. In the epilogue, Batman captures the Joker and the Red Hood flees, and Black Mask is waiting for his trial due to his supposed role in the Joker's escape. And at last, the brilliant Ewan McGregor plays the character of Black Mask in the DC Extended Universe. We first get a hint at his character with a first reference in the Extended Universe and Justice League the 2017 film. A billboard for his company, Janus Cosmetics, can clearly be seen in Gotham City skyline, so it was sure at this point that now we are going to see more of Black Mask in the future films. Black Mask finally makes his live-action debut in the DC Extended Universe in 2020 with the film Birds of Prey and the fantabulous Amanda of one Harley Quinn. With Harley Quinn as the main character, Roman Sionis serves as the film's main antagonist. Roman Buve Sionis is an egotistical, skull-masked crime lord who poses as the charming founder of Gotham's popular nightclub, the Black Mask Club. After being cut off from the family riches after damaging their business, Roman strives to become the city's most powerful kingpin in order to overpower his father. He decides to get the entire Bertinelli criminal family murdered, although one family member, Helena, survives the killing in order to get a diamond that is embedded with the account numbers to their money. Now with that, we have come to the end of another origin video with Marvelous Videos. We hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed making it for you. Make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button on your way out. Until then, everyone everyone, stay safe, take care, and see you in the next video. Have a great day. Dad, we're too late. <laughs>